Parents, today we will be switching to a math skill called subitizing, the ability to recognize small amounts of numbers without counting. In our example, all the pictures represent amounts of three. If kids can look at each picture and know that it represents three, they won't need to count each star, finger, or tally mark to determine its amount. After we teach kids subitizing, we're going to move to simple equations and then to number bonds. Our first teaching goal in this video is to have kids recognize small amounts of numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 without counting. At the end of the lessons, children should be able to look at flashcards and say the number that each one represents. 1, 5, 2, 1, None, zero, one, five, two, five, two, three, two, three, three. None, zero, three, four, three, five, three, zero, none, three, four, four. Four, 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 five, one. These are the three templates used to make the flashcards. We are going to begin the lessons with the number zero. We are going to have kids circle the pictures that represent zero. Go to the center of the page and explain this is a zero. This is the picture that represents zero. Zero means nothing. Now review all of the pictures on the practice page with kids. All the zeros, as well as the three carats, the four tally marks, the two mittens, and the five dots. Then have them circle all of the pictures that represent zero. This is the completed example. Now we're going to have kids circle the pictures that represent one. Have kids look at the one and then direct their attention to the one hamburger. Then together go over all the pictures and the numbers that they represent. And this is a completed example. A slice of pizza, one hamburger, one sock, one turtle. Following the same routine, have kids circle the pictures that represent the number two. They are two hamburgers, two mittens, two hamsters, and two socks. Have kids circle the pictures that represent the number three. They are three mice, three fish, three kids, and three cherries. Have kids circle the pictures that represent the number four. They are four slices of pizza, four mittens, four tally marks, and four green dots. 
Have kids circle the pictures that represent the number five. And they are five bowling pins, five tally marks, five purple dots, and five dogs. Now have kids circle the two pictures that have the same number in each row. In the first row, the four dots and four mittens were circled. In the second row, the three turtles and three fish were circled. In the third row, two hamburgers and two socks were circled. And in the last row, five bowling pins and five orange tally marks were circled. Now have kids draw a line from the pictures to the numbers that represent them. A line was drawn from the four dots to the number four, the three cherries to the number three, the five bowling pins to the number five, the empty blank space to the number zero, the turtle to the number one, the hamsters to the number two, the tally marks to number four, the dogs to number five. Now use the flashcards to have kids identify the number that each picture represents. If they do this well with fluency, have them move on to the next activities. If they need more support, have them practice some of the activities that were already completed. In this activity, kids will be adding. They will look at each picture, write the number that it represents to complete each addition equation. The first one has been done. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 2 fish plus 3 fish equals 5 fish. One mouse plus two mice equals three mice. Two mice plus one mouse equals three mice. One dot plus three dots equals four dots. Three dots plus one dot equals four dots. And this is a completed example. Just as addition equations, many teachers use number bonds to teach addition. It is part plus part equals whole. In a number bond, there are usually two smaller circles that represent the parts and one large circle that represents the whole. They can be arranged differently with the largest circle at the top or the largest circle to the right, sometimes the left. In teaching with number bonds, I have found the arrangement with the largest circle at the top to be the easiest for kids to understand. So I have chosen that one to use in this video and to teach our activities. Our number bonds will follow along with our equations. Three fish plus two fish equals five fish. Just like our addition equation, our number bond shows the same. One mouse plus two mice equals three mice. Three dots plus one dot equals four dots. Now have kids fill in the missing number for each number bond. The first one has been done for kids. One plus the missing number two equals three. So we can say one slice of pizza plus two slices of pizza equals three slices of pizza. 
And this is a completed example. One slice of pizza plus two slices equal three slices. Two socks plus two socks equals four socks. One apple plus one apple equals two apples. Three carrots plus two carrots equals five carrots. One hamburger plus zero hamburgers equals one hamburger. And three dogs plus two dogs equals five dogs. The next video in this series will build on the same activities introducing the numbers 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. And as always, a link to all the teaching templates will be in the description section.